I just wanted to go over who is ghosting Charlie in greater detail because I found it very interesting and one of the reasons why I named this video Florida Man Ghosted is because one of the people that Charlie is calling we will name Florida Man and this is a pattern that we've been noticing for a while and don't want to name the person's name. This is an unknown person, but my mom called him Florida Man. She actually called him South Florida Man, but just kind of reminded me that Charlie is like typical Florida Man making stupid decisions. I just want to go over in greater detail who was actually ghosting Charlie and I think that these numbers might surprise you as they kind of surprised me. It didn't have as much to do with who you might think but just a bunch of random numbers that aren't picking up and somebody that he pays a lot of money to that isn't picking up as much and let's just go over those numbers right now. Hello everyone. I just wanted to go over in greater detail as to who is actually ghosting Charlie the most. And I think these numbers are really going to surprise you. It might not be exactly who you thought. And some of these are actually unknown. So I can't exactly say who everyone is. I uh, wasn't able to reverse Google search every number, but um, just know that I uh, the most important number, the most important person that's ghosting Charlie this month, his lawyers, uh, I can't say that they're not picking up on purpose, but have to say that maybe since they've started taking the depositions of starting with, I think it's James Geiger, the neighbor of Dan Markell, who was uh, an actual on the scene witness, uh, not an actual crime scene witness but on the scene first person on the scene is being interviewed uh, deposition right now and, and those depositions are very lengthy and costly so let's just say Daniel Rashbaum's not hurting for money and doesn't need to hang on the phone with Charlie especially when they probably run out of things to talk about especially since Katie did the proffer and they've delayed the trial the next person who's ghosted Charlie the most is other and these are just a mixture of numbers and just as an interesting side note my mom has noticed that um, so there was some Houston numbers and we know that Charlie has some relatives in Houston and guess what they're not picking up the phone so um, just know that uh, every family has kind of a narcissistic sociopath or people that we just cannot change their personalities and I think people are realizing that Charlie might be that person uh, one of the Adelsons who has that sociopath uh, disorder so they're not picking up the phone they do not want to be associated with this case and more power to them so then the next person who's not picking up the phone as much is the burner phone and whoever is behind this burner phone good on you sorry that you have to be associated with this case and we hope and pray that any of the innocent people involved have a full and happy life despite all of this drama all right, and then the next person ghosting Charlie the most is Donna. I cannot believe it, you guys. What on earth could she be doing? Oh, maybe Wendy's in the next room and she can't pick up the phone. Oh, darn, you know, Wendy, the key state witness and with that great nifty immunity. And I'm assuming Wendy's probably in the room with the boys or whatever. Maybe she's just so busy busy planning her next trial. All right, so the next person not picking up the phone is this person I'm going to call Florida Man, and we know his name, but I'm not going to say it, but not sure who it is. It's kind of like a common name, someone in South Florida, so we're going to call him South Florida Man, 8%. Don't know who this person is, cannot figure it out, but he's not picking up the phone. Well, maybe one of Charlie's friends from the past. And then the next person not picking up the phone are his brokers and the trade alerts. So, you know, maybe they're just feeling like he's not a good client. Maybe he's not paying them. Maybe money's a little tight these days. Go figure. You know, when you're on trial for a murder, money kind of is uh, important to kind of save your butt and he's probably running out of it. And then the next person at 1% who's ghosting Charlie is Janice. And I assume that there is some kind of like 
service that Janice is giving Charlie of therapy. And I'm assuming that that is probably the only reason that they still talk or some of you have speculated that they might have dated. You know, I'm like you guys, I, I don't know if we'll ever find out, but just stay tuned for more um, call logs. We'll see if these people hang on. And, you know, like I was saying, I've thought about not doing these anymore, but I'm finding too much information and finding it valuable. And I do these videos to kind of get this information out of my head for a trial and a case that I just think is so unfair to the Markell family and my heart goes out to them and I just want to help in some way. I just feel like I really feel for them and I do this in my spare time. I have other day jobs so don't worry about me. Anyway, so thank you so much for watching and I'm, I'm probably doing this, I'm doing this as a breakout video. This is also in my other video, February log. So thank you so much for uh, watching this part. All right, everyone, thank you so much for listening. And I guess I will include this part in the February calls because it does have to do with the February calls. And I will be maybe going into greater detail as to who is ghosting Charlie in the future. But it just seemed like a lot, it seemed like a culmination of a lot of things that had happened. The case management meeting, I believe, was on the 28th and got kept getting moved around. And then we delayed the trial. So people might just be tired of talking to Charlie and especially in um, the month of February with the proffer and all this bad press about Charlie. People are just tired of talking to him. So um, stay tuned for more videos and Charlie's calls in March. I wanna work on some others. And big shout out to anyone who's covering this case. Totally keep doing it. Content is great. Even though there's not a lot of content, shout out to anyone finding, finding patterns and definitely wanting to watch more and more and uh thank you guys for watching my channel and uh as always have a wonderful spring